Howdy folks, Christopher here. So, this weekend my brother-in-law came to visit. He needed to clone a hard drive. He wanted to get data from over here to over here. I found a simple way to do that without any fancy cloning software having to search for anything using Linux. This is how I did it. Let's start by the manual for DD, so man DD. DD is for converting and copying a file, which is what we're technically doing here, we're copying files. By default, it does that from standard in to standard out. So we're specifying IF or input file to get it from a file instead of standard in and output file OF to read out to a file instead of standard out. The next thing we'll look for is BS or byte size. <laughs> so by default, it's going to be 512 bytes we're going to read it at a time. But we can also pair that up with something called a multiplicative suffix. Try say that 10 times fast. Um, you got your regular ones like kilobytes, megabytes, etc. And it explains here how many bytes that actually equates to. So if we go ahead and we look for our disks now, you'll see here is the USB that I've actually used to boot Zorin OS on my um, brother-in-law's laptop. And here I have his actual hard drive, which you can see is actually a Windows environment. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the new hard drive that he's bought. And once we plug that in, you'll see it's going to actually pop up here when I do this FDisk command again, but it's going to come up as an empty drive. You can see it's mentioned here and it even has a little disk model here. You can see here's one here mentions it's 931 gigs and it has a disk model here. And that is also the same over here at this one at the bottom that is 953 gigs. So these two locations are actually file locations on the system under the folder dev SDC and dev SDA. So that'll be our input file and our output file. And our simple command will turn out to look like this. Dev SDA is his current hard drive. The output file is going to be the new hard drive that's currently empty. Um, I just use control L to bring this up to the top here. So we're going to put dev SDC there. We're going to specify a byte size. I'm going to use 128K. And I'm going to run this. Now, you're going to see it's going to look like it's doing nothing for a little bit of time here. The problem is when I did this the first time, I actually made a mistake. I forgot a very, very important parameter that we should use to get a little bit of feedback from this command. So I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to add status equals progress. It would be best that you run it with this um, parameter as well so that you actually get some meaningful feedback when using this command. Before you go ahead and copy my command at the top, just remember you're gonna to have to change things where it's relative to you. You're gonna find out which disk you're copying from and to by using sudo fdisk-l. Sudo because you're doing something that an administrator has to do and then the dash l is going to show you all of the devices on the system. You can change it as necessary and put them in the different placeholders here. Now if you look at the top right hand corner, you'll see this actually happened over a long period of time. This wasn't a very quick copy. It was a terabyte for each drive that we had to copy over. But by this time, I was already outside enjoying my weekend. So now DD is perfect for these kind of operations because in the past, it's always been used for heavy handed system maintenance. Like I need a copy from the root partition to a tape or back or back up a hard drive, etc. So it was always made for this. So let's use fdisk to list the devices and you can see that we've copied everything from my brother-in-law's old hard drive to this new solid state drive. And when we put it into his laptop, it was working 100% and his laptop was way faster. When I first started my Linux journey over 10 years ago, I was also scared of the big scary terminal. Until I learned that all of these commands just have parameters that change the way that they behave. And if I didn't know what those parameters were, I could just get them from the manual for each command inside of the built-in manual in Linux. 
And then after I realized that, commands like DD became a huge unlock. And we have a lot of convenient utilities that make your life super easy in Linux. I hope this video communicated that and you saw the value of something like DD. And if you did get value out of that, you know which buttons to press. <laughs> so yeah, until next time, you'll find my next video over here.